Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a very important data structure in R that is called a list. Lists are containers for other objects. So lists can be uh, understood by taking the analogy of a box. So just like the way we can put different items inside a box. You know, you can put your notebooks, you can put uh, your pens, you can put your lunch in the same way inside a list. You can put uh, different R objects like data frames or vectors and matrix and you can access them as you want. Uh, however, um, that makes lists very complex and unlike a data frame or a vector or even a matrix lists are very hard to visualize because they contain all types of data inside of them however because they are so important we should understand what they are and how to create them and that's what i'm going to do in this video so first i'm going to create some objects uh, one data frame one vector and one matrix and then i'm going to show you how you can use them to create a list. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create an empty data frame. If you don't know what is a data frame, then this is not the right video for you to start with. But if you know what is a data frame, a vector and a matrix, then this is the right place for you. Okay, so I'm going to first create an empty data frame. And then to that data frame, I'm going to add uh, some data. So Let's create an empty data frame and I want my empty data frame to have four uh, columns. Uh, the first column I want is uh, name, which is going to be a character column. Then I want age, which is a numeric column, followed by salary, which is going to be a uh, sorry, uh, character sorry a numeric column once again oh god <laughs> and then finally uh the location which is a character column okay. and then i'm going to say strings as factors equals to false okay so this should create a uh an empty data frame for me that has four columns in it so let's see so okay so now i have four columns name age salary and location but there is no data inside of this data frame so let's go ahead and add some data into it and i'm going to add the data by using our bind um so i'm going to give my empty data frame and then i'm going to say data dot frame name equals to I'm going to give names of different characters from uh, TV shows. I hope you know who these characters are. If you have watched these shows, um, they're pretty famous shows, I would say. Uh, the next one, let's put some age information and I don't know their ages. I'm just putting some age. So, um, okay, so, and then after age, let's put some salary. Now, I don't know, I think I missed a C over here. I don't know what is their salaries, but I'm just going to put something. Uh, let's see. So let's say Sheldon earns 90,000. Chandler earns uh, 100,000. Jonas is a student. So I'm giving him 20,000. And Masaba is a famous fashion designer. So I'm going to give her 200k <laughs> and then location okay what are their locations sheldon was in la and i forgot the quotes let's add them there uh chandler in new york city then we have jonas who was in winden uh, jonas is the character from uh, dark it's a science fiction show 
um, in uh, on Netflix. And finally, Masaba, we all know she is from Mumbai. Um, so okay, so let's run this uh, and see if data got added to our uh, data frame. Okay, awesome. So now we have um, some data added into our data frame. So next step is to create a vector. And I'm going to call this vector as element number two. And I'm just going to create a vector of the names of the shows that these guys are from. So Sheldon is from Big Bang Theory. Uh, Chandler is from Friends. Jonas is from Dark. And Masaba is from Masaba Masaba. Okay, great. So that's my element number two. Okay, so the vector got created. Let's create a third element, which is a matrix. Um, now, a matrix is a two dimensional uh, data structure inside of R. So I'm going to use the matrix command over here and I'm, I want to create a, a five by two. Uh, so I'm going to give n row equals to five and n column equals to two. And so it will be created out of uh, the numbers one to ten. Sorry, and I need to name it element number three. Okay, so now I have element one, two, and three. Uh, if you want to see how element three looks like, see, that's how it's a two-dimensional two vector, sorry, two-dimensional matrix that got created over here. Uh, and now we are finally ready to create our list. So I'm going to call it some list because it is just some random list and now I'm going to add uh, the three elements that I created element one, two and three and the command for that is list and then all I'm going to say is element one, element two and element three. Okay, so when I run this, so I got this some list list of three. If I click this, I can see that it tells me that you have one uh, inside your list. You know, you have three things. It says list of three. The first thing you have is a data frame. You know, it says a data frame with four rows and four columns. The next one is this character vector. And then the last one, it says it's a five by two uh, matrix, right? So inside some list, there are three different elements. That's what it tells me. And I can open this and see what is inside it. Um, <clears throat> the next thing is to access the elements inside a list. So we know that there are three elements inside our list, right? So let's say I want to um, access the first element. So the first element is this one, right? The data frame that we created. This is the first element. So if I want to access that, so I will give some list. And then there is this double square bracket notation. So use that and give one because that's our first element and it will give you that. And if I do some list uh, and double square brackets and two, it will give me my second element, which was the element of the names of the Netflix shows. I don't think all of them are on Netflix, but you know what I mean. Um, and then if I do the same three it will give me the third element which was the matrix we created right so that's how you can access now let's say i want to access the first column of this first element okay so this is the first column of the first element right the name column so how do i do that so first i want to access my first element which i can do like this and then 
I lose one more square bracket and give one. So that should give me the first column over here, right? And then let's say I want to access the first name inside that column. So then what I'll do, I'll again do some list, double square brackets. This will give me the first column, uh, sorry, the first element. Then this will give me the first column. And then if I do this, that should give me the first uh, name in that. So similarly, you can access any element inside, any uh, data inside of any of these elements, right? So let's say I want to access friends. So how do you think uh, I should do that? You know, give it a try. You can pause the video and give it a try. But this is how you should access. So first, you need to access the second element, right? Because friends is inside the second element of some list. So I give two inside my double square brackets and then inside the second element, it is the second data value. So I'm going to give two. So that should give me friends, right? So that's how you can access the different elements inside of a list. And I think there is also another way to access the data using the dollar sign. So why don't you go ahead and explore that and see what are some other uh, ways to access data inside of the list. That's your homework to work on. Uh, but I think that was all guys. That was all about lists. I think this is enough to get you started. And then um, don't fear to use it if it is required. But if it is not required, then don't unnecessarily uh, complicate your code. If a data frame does the thing, then go ahead with data frame. But if there is an opportunity to use a list and that it makes your work easy, then don't be um, scared to use lists. And I think now you know exactly how they work. They're not complicated at all. Um, OK, guys, that was the entire video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. I hope all of you have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.